Scott. We are just one week away from the Great American Solar Eclipse. I didn't know it had a name. <laughs> now, while we won't have totality here in North Carolina, it is sure to be an event to go outside and see. Storm Team Meteorologist Dave Downey went to the Moorhead Planetarium in Chapel Hill. One week until the first U.S. solar eclipse in seven years. We won't have totality, but we can still have a totally amazing experience. In the triangle, we'll see about 78% of the sun covered by the moon for this year's eclipse, which means... We have to be very careful about viewing the eclipse safely. Sunglasses are not meant for looking at the sun, whether it's eclipsed or not. So if you want to look directly at the sun, I highly recommend eclipse glasses. Now, how exactly does an eclipse work? All right, we brought the solar system to Chapel Hill. We've got the sun here, we have the earth downsized, and Dr. Sale, you've got the moon. I've got the moon. The real moon has no pencil. This is so <laughs> totally not to scale, by the way. <laughs> but the moon is always orbiting the earth. It takes about a month, about a month to do so. And um, at new moon position, um, you have the potential to have a solar eclipse. Now, usually the moon passes above or below the sun from our point of view on earth. But every once in a while, the moon shadow um, will actually hit earth and the moon is blocking the sun. And if you're in the moon shadow, you get a solar eclipse. It takes just the right alignment, and that once in a while for us here in central North Carolina isn't exactly around the corner. Now the next total solar eclipse that comes through the triangle where you will not need these glasses, that's just a few years away, May 11th, 2078. In Chapel Hill, Dave Downey, CBS 17 News.